Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to... Oh, there's a timer at the top. Okay, yeah, I turned that on. Welcome to A Wizard's Lizard 2, Soul Thief, or I guess Soul Thief, A Wizard's Lizard... Aww. That's adorable. Yeah, Wizards Lizard 2. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, didn't watch the series, it was a while ago, uh, I played a game called Wizards Lizard a while back. Pretty good roguelike, uh, kind of similar to Binding of Isaac, but with some with different things. I've got my cursor on the screen, let's get that out of there. Um, but, so, they finished that, and I stopped playing it for whatever reason, I think it was, <laughs> I think it was a little hard for me, I don't know. Uh, or I'm, oh, I moved. Anyway, uh, so they made a sequel called Soul Thief. Which I'm kind of interested in uh, seeing how it goes. Uh, plays a little bit differently already, which is kind of interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to how it goes. Is that my tongue hanging out? That is my tongue hanging out. Or, no, no, that's totally an amulet. <laughs> For a second I thought I was just running around in, um, you know, permanent derp mode. Uh, okay. But, uh, before we continue, I would like to put forward the disclaimer. This is super early access. So, it is going to be... Press Y to possess monsters. Interesting. Press X to attack. Uh, I wonder if they attack me while I'm in sleep mode. Touch to collect. Touch to interact. Got a thing. I don't know what that thing does. Uh, use item. Oh, interesting. It's got a limited range on it. Gotcha. Oh! Haha! <laughs> That's awesome! So, uh, yeah. So this is super early access. There are going to be some bugs, some missing uh, features and whatnot. Uh, but still. There's once a lonely lizard who needed a home. The wizard met a young lizard who was all alone. They became like family and grew up together in the wizard's house. But wizards live longer than lizards. And one day Raga passed away. Fraught with grief, the wizard used forbidden magic. Raga's soul was brought back to this realm. But something sinister came back with him. Okay, toy box. Oh, okay, so I can have these things if I can... I guess I have to purchase them, I don't know. Raga, I'll get you new toys. Destroy five inkwells in the library. Gotcha. Uh... Ah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack my books! I was not expecting that, honestly. Okay. I should probably... I don't know what these do. They're probably traps? Okay. I wonder if they'll attack Raga while Raga's sleeping. I will keep that one in mind. I don't think so, but I also have no way of knowing on this one. Oh, I see. Uh... Huh. There we go. So can I puzzle solve with this? Did that work? I have no clue. Well, whatever. How do I get this guy dead? I guess that works. Yeah, finishing off the last guy is always going to be the hardest. So what am I supposed to do here? I can try and bust up the traps. We have... We have these. Am I stuck now? Or maybe I gotta destroy books? Can't do anything against that. Destroyed all of them. Am I stuck in here now? Did I did I ruin things? Did I Yeah, but think I messed this up. Awesome. Oh, I see. How the devil am I supposed to get these out? Oh, we're getting it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we gotta we gotta push the books around. I got it. Yeah, if there was a drag key, that would be really useful. But there isn't. I'm glad I couldn't destroy these. Okay, cool. That works. Okay. Well, we might as well grab another one of these. Just dump bats on them. Oh, I see. It looks like I am baseline more powerful than most enemies here. Kind of makes sense. Need a key. Alright, well let's destroy the rest of everything. Is there anything else I can do here? Oh! That was an over-aggressive book. 
Apparently the, uh... Oh, shit. Huh. Well, <laughs> I just realized we're dead. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Okay, yeah, apparently those rolling globe things can and will kill the lizard. I mean, this should surprise nobody, but still. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of money. Restores five health. Interesting, so these are like use items. So, one of my complaints about uh, the original wizard's lizard was, you know, it was a little, it was a little generic. It wasn't as advanced as some of the other games on the market. And I'm dead. Where does that put me? Probably losing. Huh. Interesting. Okay, play again. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a little, it was a little generic. You know, there, there definitely were some, like, mechanics that needed to happen to make the game, like, really worth playing. Oh, shoot. Okay. Interesting, they can kill each other. Well, that works out in my favor, so let's quickly hit all of these. I'm gonna just go book bombing against people for a while. I think that seems like the reasonable response. Gotta make sure I don't kill uh, Raga here. Now, the interesting question is, do I go back to... Do I go back to my body? If I'm, um... If I'm killed as one of these things. I don't actually know on that one. Okay. Aiming is a little bit difficult. On this. I was kind of expecting it to have omnidirectional aiming, but no. It looks like it actually... Uh, it only goes in the eight cardinal directions. Makes it enough sense. So we've got full health. Oh, that's a healing item. Okay. Yeah, so I'll keep, I'll keep being the book bomber for the time being. I'm gonna let these guys hit the... Well, that was incredibly effective. I'm in trouble. Now, here's the question. Okay, destroy five bat books in the library, so that's a quest complete. Oh, my bats ran in into his bats. I got it. I was confused. It's like, why did we die there? But there we go. This is weird and quirky, and I actually really like this. This is, um, I mean, honestly, the the enemies are a little bit on the the basic side. And the gameplay, I would actually say, is a little bit more limited and slower, in a way, than um, than the original Wizard's Lizard. But at the same time, prevents freezing, prevents poison, increases tail whip damage by 100%. At the same time, I actually really like this. Because Wizard's Lizard felt like kind of a... Uh, I'm not going to say like exactly a dumbed-down version of Isaac, with... Um, with equipment instead of interesting upgrades. I don't know what these things do. You know, I'm just gonna let them die. Oh, I can- you can destroy- You can destroy those. Okay, so we got ice axes, which are a use item. So the inkwells do slow, but still. But this is... Weird! Hey, we got a blueprint. Uh, this is weird, and honestly, like, much better, just because it's, it's new. You know, the, the concept of taking over enemies has been, I don't know, I, I'd say something that I haven't really seen in a game before, and that actually makes this a lot more interesting than just, you know, basic dungeon crawling, uh, whatnot. Okay. So, you know what? Let's use an ice axe. Oh, interesting, they... They bounce through the entire floor. Well, that's incredibly useful. Yeah, I'm gonna just stick with Bat Book for a while. Seems like the Knight statues are not particularly... They're aggressive, but they're not very good. And this might be a lot easier on me. Okay, so let's see if I can find some more keys. But I've already got a lot of use items here, so I don't really want to use too many. Okay. But no, this is... This is really cool. And I don't think destroying the basic uh, environment is actually getting me a whole lot of cool stuff here. Eh, bit of a shame. But still, yeah. Obviously, I'd like to see what the power-ups do. I would like to see 
permanent power-ups. I assume they exist apart from, like, prevents... Uh-oh. Prevents, you know, freezing or whatever. But I honestly can't tell you. I want to see if I can get these guys to move. Okay. Luckily, my bats block shots. But yeah, we are currently running into issues against these oil wells. Or ink wells. My bad. Okay. Just because they've got a smaller hitbox than I expected. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't exactly know how problematic the ink wells would be. Hey, got the boss key. Uh, but still. Let's get out of here. I assume I can't take over the boss, unfortunately. Now, we could actually go back to the shop and buy something. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's not take Raga back over. Oh, can I buy it? I can buy it. Okay, so I've got a toy. I have no idea what that does. Um... Okay, so let's go take a look at this. These are permanent up upgrades. Prevents poison, prevents freezing, increases tail whip damage. So that's specifically for Raga, which is not as good as we want. Let's go with uh, prevents freezing for the time being. Uh, but yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to see things that like increase player health or, you know, improves my ability to play as a character. Well, let's see what happens. I'm probably going to die against the boss as the book here. But who... I'm a... Getting attacked by a possessed painting. Awesome. Oh, did I get... I did get poison. He attacks with runes. Oh, interesting. Poison just slows you down. It doesn't actually do anything negative to you. Okay, the, the burning, though. The burning sucks. Freezing I don't have to deal with. Ow, fuck. Okay, we gotta get rid of a bunch of these. They're starting to become a problem. I wonder if I can get him uh, frozen by his own stuff. Okay. And I'm dead, as a book. Does this reset me to Raga? No. Okay, so because my soul died, uh, that's it. Okay, well that makes sense. Let's play again. Can I do anything with the bone? No, I can't. What do they do then? Are they- they're just toys, I guess. Adorable. Okay, I'm gonna try and cheese them next to each other. A bit. Okay, there we go. Got it. Uh, so we don't want, we don't want Raga to die. I like the Soul Steel aspect, but I almost feel like it it would be better if you go back to the main body after death. Can I Soul Steel? Nope, can't Soul Steel a uh, a globe. Probably for the best. Oh hi. We made friends now. Unfortunately, wait, is this one particularly injured? I guess it's no. Better or worse than what I am. Right now. Okay. Yeah, the problem is the globes are aggressive. What? What even? Yeah, it, it feels like the books are probably the best. Except for against bosses. So I'll probably switch back to Raga for, for bosses. Um, I don't know. I, I think it would be neat if, if you could go back to, to Raga at the end just because... Uh, this would, I guess, promote a little bit more aggressive play. Because I'm, noti I'm noticing this game is a little slow. Um, but still. Okay. Boink, you're mine. I'm gonna just get out of the way. I'm gonna just see if I can get them to kill each other. That seems to work pretty damn well, honestly. It's also really easy to cheese the books. The, the main problem with the boss fight that we were dealing with was, I, I mean, main issue ended up being we just weren't nearly mobile enough to, to fight him. We don't have any keys. 
since since you have to stop to attack, which didn't exist in the previous game. I can understand like why it exists from a uh, stylistic standpoint in this game, because you know if if I was truly mobile while I was attacking, then this would get a lot easier. Uh, but still, there's that slight slight frustration of like. Uh, especially against that last guy who just pops a rune up behind, uh, beneath you. It's like, how do you attack him in that situation? The answer is play Raga, not otherwise. Okay, so I got Cold Snap, which I have no idea what it does. But hopefully there are more substantial permanent upgrades here. But I don't know. I guess maybe I'm coming to that from, like, the perspective of somebody that's used to that sort of thing. 10% chance to gain one health when a monster is killed. Okay, we'll probably save up for that one. I have no idea what other bosses there are uh, for level one. We could actually try fighting an Inkwell. Okay, so let's... Rambo these guys a bit. Stay away from that. Stay away from that. Come on. I want to see if I can get him to shoot at me. There we go. What? Oh. Wow. So this guy can move well. Okay, Inkwell. Inkwell superiority. Only problem is Inkwells only have 2 HP. That's a bit of a problem. So we've got a heal, and we've got cold snap. Rest heal restores 5 health and has 5 charges. So we'll probably hold on to that one. Inkwell superiority got extra tickets. Uh, destroyed the inkwells in the library. Oh, interesting. My my inkwell blobs will set off traps. Useful. Yeah, if I could increase my maximum health here, that'd be incredibly useful. Uh, but still, yeah, inkwells inkwells scoot. I've got I've got the mobility I was asking for. We leave while we wait for that to go. Looks like that did not reset. Okay, ow. If I'm lucky, I can get them to... I'm dead. Fuck. I was hoping I was a little bit faster than that. Oh, well. <sighs> not the end of the world. So I got five more tickets, which I assume I can't use to buy anything. Yeah, so next we can get, like, the grandfather clock. I mean, we could try just using Raga here. Instead of doing Soul Fifi stuff. The only problem is against the Knights, Raga is kind of... garbage. But not a bad character on his own. Yeah, so why don't we do that for a little while? The problem is my maximum damage is bad. Oh, looks like I gotta kill more Inkwells here. All right. So yeah, we'll we'll see if I can fight the knights without a whole lot of issue. Uh, it is nice having a melee attack in here. Ah, oh, first one solid. There we go. So we've got the quest complete, and that gets me some more tickets. Which I really don't know if the tickets actually are that useful. I don't know if the toys have any effect. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from that. Okay. Looks like they're kind of cheesable. There we go. Okay, give me that sweet, sweet, whatever that is. And stay away from the globe. Okay, yeah, so go going straight with Raga here works fairly well. Okay. Luckily, they have this, like, weird habit of murdering each other. I- ow. I've never been able to understand why. Oh, needs a key. Ow. I should probably also use the consumable items a little bit more often than I do. I'm... I'm notoriously... I'd say notoriously, but I don't think most people notice this. But I'm particularly stingy when it comes to this sort of thing. So, immunity all damage for five seconds. Pumpkins that deal splash damage splits into three fireballs. I will... I will admit... Let's see what that does. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. Murder the book. There we go. 
Uh, but yeah, I almost never use my my consumable items if if I can avoid it. Like it is bad how rarely I use them. Um, and that's probably going to be very characteristic of this playthrough, honestly. But I think we'll be okay. Hopefully we'll get some healing here or something. We got a small key. Is there- there's probably a chest back behind somewhere. Can I check my map? Oh, I can turn off the interface. Uh... I have no idea if I can check the map or not. Let's just quick go back. Like, we got the- we got the wand, but I think- I think there's one chest we missed back here. Hopefully... Hopefully I'm wrong. It would be nice if there was, uh, icons for, like, things you missed and whatnot. Yep, yep. So we get a Seed of Life. Ooh, okay, so anytime I kill something, I get a 10% chance to get one health back. Oh, that would have been helpful earlier, but... I mean, there's there's no way to have planned that one out any faster. So hopefully the boss won't be too rough. These would be kind of neat, but still. Okay, so I'm gonna inkwell superiority for a second. Mainly because we've got a ranged attack like this. I don't think I'm gonna use the inkwell against the boss though. It's got just too little HP to be worthwhile. Actually. Now's a good time for me to switch back to, to Raga. Because otherwise, uh, we'll have to fight a full health one. And I wanted this small chance of getting my HP back. Okay, looks like it's just us versus the uh, possessed painting again. Well, that's okay. I've actually got mobility on this one. Yep, staying away from that. Okay, cannot freeze him. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Luckily, I can outrun most of these runes. But yeah, I can just take a swing at him as I go by. I was really hoping that I'd be able to... Um, Ah. I was really hoping that I'd be able to uh, freeze him with his own attacks, because that'd be handy. No dice, though. Oh, shit. He brought friends. Looks like he's a lot more aggressive as this fight goes on. Okay, let's quickly get rid of all the runes. Seeing as they're a bit of a nuisance. Okay, yeah, getting frozen or poisoned here is going to be a problem. Oh, I see, there's an inkwell on the table. That's how to spawn them. Okay, got him. Okay, there's some extra HP. At this point, I'm just murdering them for the sake of murdering them. That's a neat trick, though. Having the, uh, the inkwells on the tables. That's cool. Okay, animated kitchen. We don't even get a reward for that? Aww. Chicken! 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 Oh! Oh, that's not what I was expecting. I murdered the chicken. I feel moderate amounts of regret, but only moderate. Okay, so we've got knives. So let's see. I... this is weird. This is the weirdest. <laughs> Knife jousting! There's also some kind of immunity situation. I'm not really sure what that does. Uh, regardless of whether I live or die here, I really want to play as knife, I guess. Maybe I don't want to play as knife. In retrospect, they're kind of bad. In retrospect, all of these are kind of bad. I'm probably going to have a better time playing as Raga, honestly. Alright. Well, let's go back to him. Because uh, this is not functional. Oh, those are probably more knives to work with. Well, we don't want to do that. Ow. Right. Approach from diagonal. Okay, stay away from the knives a little bit. 
And again, approach from the diagonal. Now, I could keep killing them. Ow. I could keep killing them. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. And the answer is it's not a good idea. But it, uh, these are possessed pig heads. Can I can I shoot over these? Nope, can't. See, so yeah, we've got possessed pig heads. God, their eyes are fucked up. I should have also tried possessing the chicken, honestly. Ah, what? Okay, gotta lure them away from Raga. Okay, this presents me with the problem. Okay. Problem is, these pig heads are just about as aggressive both sides. Ow. Are we leave now? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my consumable items alternatively. Die. Damn. <laughs> Wow, this game is weird. I like it. I did not expect how this worked, but I like it. It's quirky. I. It's interesting that a lot of the level 2 things aren't actually good. Like, it almost feels like Inkwell Superiority would have been the way to go for most of this, if not all of this. The only problem is the limited health. Yeah, so I, I dig the enemy takeover system. I do wish that there were power-ups, though. Uh, or some, th some way, because, like, in that case with the pig, pig head, the moment I switched into him, I was pretty much screwed. Because they left a rock in a really inconvenient location. Um. And that wasn't good? Uh. Then again, I mean, I could have just let Raga die, but at that point, I was kind of screwed one way or another. Uh, and the, the fact that, you know, pig head versus pig head is useless. Uh, the knives were interesting, and I might have been able to make it work, but it also seemed really dangerous. Uh, just because, you know, if an enemy catches sight of you and shoots you beforehand, you're sunk. Uh, whereas it feels like the book and the inkwell were much more superior just because of the volume of their attacks and the, you know, range and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I like it a lot. I want to see where they go with this. Uh, just because this is probably one of the more unique roguelikes on the market now. Uh, which is a really, really, like, big step in the right direction. After Wizard Wizard 1, which wasn't a bad game. It was it was good, but uh, it didn't stand out enough. And this one gets closer, but it does end up feeling a little shallow. Uh, so ho hopefully they add more mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, Power-ups, boosts, I don't know. Uh, either way, though, I had a lot of fun with this. It's gorgeous. The music is, I mean, whatever. And it controls pretty well. I don't know. I, I, I want to see more. And I'm going to be playing more. So, I guess with this, uh, the game comes out... It, the Steam page says April 5th. Now, that could be a lie. That could be true. I have no idea. But uh, we'll we'll go with that until I uh, hear otherwise. Um, but uh, I think the price is probably going to be 10 15 bucks. I think Wizard's Lizard was somewhere in that price range, too. And I'd say that's probably fairly reasonable. Uh, for most of you, unless you're like really hardcore roguelike fans, might be worth holding off. Until it's got some more features, you know, gets closer to the 1.0 release. But, uh, if you like Wizards Lizard 1, or Binding of Isaac and that sort of thing, and you want to play something a little bit different, this one actually fulfills a unique role. I, I love the fact that you can play as multiple, uh, critters. I think that makes for a really interesting game. And I, I can't wait to play more. I keep saying that. So, I guess with that... Uh, if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to play a fair amount of this as the game develops. Though I'm going to see how far I can get uh, on the current version, just because. Uh, but yeah, either way, I guess apart from that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Soul Thief. And as always, thanks for watching.